Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Rob with The Curated Culture and I have a very special video for y'all lined up today. Now, as you may know, we are in the swing of the holiday season and two of the hottest gaming consoles perhaps ever have been released. That's the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. Now, a lot of people are struggling to pick up these consoles and they have no idea why. Well, fret not because this video is going to explain to you exactly why it's so hard for you to cop a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X and I'm going to give you some tips on how to increase or improve your chances of getting one before Christmas or shortly thereafter. Now before we get into business, let's get down to brass tacks. First and foremost, make sure if you haven't already done so, subscribe to this channel and click that bell icon so you get notified each and every time that I upload. I am one that divvy out very important information and you don't want to miss that, especially videos like this item number two make sure you hit that thumbs up button man like this video let other people know that you like it share it wherever you see it pass this along this is very vital information is going to help you or a friend or family member secure the bag all right so enough rambling let's get down to business so first and foremost you might be asking yourself why are these consoles so damn hard to find well as you may know we are in the middle of a pandemic. COVID has ruined uh, everybody's standard retail plans of attacks, and that includes both Sony and Microsoft. So we are seeing these consoles release in limited quantities to begin with, but they are releasing majority of the time online. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, because it's hard enough to buy limited quantities of things online because you're competing against literally everybody else in the United States and sometimes in the world. Well, there's now a unique thing that is causing you to not be able to buy the system of your choosing, and you may or may not have heard of it. This unique thing that's preventing you from being able to buy that system of your choosing is something called a bot. Now, I myself have been doing battle with bots for years now because it was a thing that was really, really big and still is really big in the sneaker community. Now, what is a bot? Well, a bot is simply a very, very sophisticated form of computer software that allows the user to be in multiple places at multiple times. So for example, I could be sitting right here in my room and I could be on my MacBook and I could have a bot running that could essentially be in line for me in Target, at Walmart.com, at BestBuy.com, at GameStop.com, at Sony, at Microsoft, the whole shop, right? I'm everywhere and you're just in one central location now not only do these bots give people the advantage of being able to be in multiple places at multiple times but it also affords them the luxury of lightning fast checkout so these bots will preload one or several payment methods for the user it throws the system into their cart and checks out for them almost immediately before you even get the chance to enter your card number that's why the systems and the console are selling out in seconds. So why do people use them? Well, as you just heard, simplicity is key and securing the bag, securing the dub, getting the win is all that matters. Now, bots aren't specifically free nor are they cheap. So that is even more incentive for people to double up when they use bots. Now doubling up is the practice of essentially buying two or three or four or five systems at a time in order to A, recoup the money that they spent on a bot and B, profit so that they could maybe purchase an even more sophisticated version. Now, based on that knowledge, I know you're probably thinking, well, why don't manufacturers or retailers intervene? And the answer is relatively simple. Honestly, the people who are using bots aren't particularly doing anything illegal. Now, retailers won't intervene because they're still making the money. Bots aren't scamming the retailers out of money. They're not using falsified credit information or anything like that. They're using legitimate means to process a transaction much faster than a standard person can. And that in and of itself is what causes the issues. Again, in the sneaker community, Nike, Adidas, all of these guys battle with the popularity of bots, but because the money is still going to them, there's no real incentive for them to put measures in place to protect the average consumer against the bot. Which brings up the last point. What can you do to protect yourself against a bot? Well, honestly, not much. But there are a few steps that you can take, which I'm gonna tell you right now, to help improve your chances of snagging a system. Step number one, 
wherever you try to buy from be it Walmart or Target or Best Buy or Microsoft or wherever, register for an account. By registering for an account, you can preload and pre-save payment information that makes it way faster for you to get in and get out. Lessening the possibility that a bot can swoop in and steal your console before you get a chance to buy it. Step number two, use a smartphone. And in addition to using a smartphone, make sure that you set up Apple Pay or Google pay on those phones now I won't go down to the whole digital wallet thing because that's a whole nother discussion but there have been a lot of studies conducted by cybersecurity experts that do confirm that Apple pay and Google pay can be more secure than swiping your card at a pay station in a store or manually entering your card number online now in addition to it being safer and more secure it is also ridiculously faster you can throw an item into your card online select apple pay or google pay when you go to check out your card details are already there boom good to go now if you do happen to be stuck at a computer or stuck on a smartphone if you fail make sure that you leave whatever system that you're trying to buy in your cart this is important because once the system comes back in stock through that reseller it's already in your cart which is one step that people seem to forget about when they go to buy things a lot of times when you're purchasing an item that is very highly in demand your cart will crash before you can even get to the checkout process so by leaving the item in your cart if the retailer allows you are already bypassing majority of the most difficult part of the checkout process from there right back to step two which is making sure that you have an account registered and you have your payment information saved so it's literally a two-step process go to your cart check out play games now this next one is kind of a long shot but it is one that i myself have utilized to my benefit and i'm not taking advantage of it in this way the gentleman that hooked me up that helped me get my playstation has been a lifelong friend we've known each other since high school and um, i've always continued to keep in touch but my point is be nice to your local gamestop people a lot of times if you can develop a relationship and if you show up to these stores rather than always purchasing through the big box retailer target walmart best buy you go to gamestop and you get to know these guys and a lot of times they'll be more likely to hit you to when restocks are happening or when system releases are happening and in-person transactions are going to be the easiest way for you to snag these systems now as I noted in the beginning of this video it's going to be harder to buy a system in person because not many consoles are showing up in store so you're going to have to rely on the online method more than anything but don't let that stop you from a just genuinely being a nice person and b leveraging the relationships that you make as a result of being a nice person to hopefully help you get what you want last but not least and this is one that i'm a very big fan of get familiar with social media follow reseller and restock accounts and set up notifications for when they tweet or when they post a status this is very important because if you are in the know faster that is going to increase your chances of being able to successfully snag a system i myself follow a ton of sneaker accounts on twitter and i always have my notifications set to on so that when they tweet whenever a shoe drops that i know that i'm going to want i can generally get it that is a very very, very proven strategy and um, it's been very successful for me uh, I would encourage you to utilize it as well because again the sooner you know the faster you can check out the more probability you have in getting one of these systems that's it y'all that's a real quick explainer on what is going on why you can't pick up a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X if you like this video make sure that you hit that thumbs up icon and let me know also drop a comment down below let me know if you were able to snag a PS5. What successful steps did you take? I would love to hear some feedback. Maybe we can, as a community, share some helpful tips in order to assure that we all get a system in the near future. Also, check me out over on the social media, on the tweets, on the Instagrams, on the Snapchats via at Robbie Diesel. Thank you all so very much for watching this. I will catch you all on the next one. Until then, adios.